Hey everybody, and thanks for tuning in. New and returning viewers. My name's Kevin, and I go on adventures between hiking, biking, trail building, race promotion, just an array of things, and I make videos and share those adventures with you guys. And today, we're actually out at my buddy Seth's house to customize a trail tool. Hey guys, and welcome back. Today, we actually came over to my buddy Seth's house because he has a garage and he has a place where I can use tools. He doesn't mind as long as I clean up. One of the things that we're gonna do today while we're over here is that we're gonna check out a tool that I've been using for trail building, and that's the McLeod. This is a pretty new one. I've only used it a tiny little bit, but what I found is when I've used one that was a lot more heavily used, uh, the tool is sharper and worn down. So we're actually about to customize a brand new one and we're gonna make some alterations to this, making a custom tool, because I feel like I kind of know what I want out of the McLeod. It is the best tool of them all, but let's go ahead and hop in and uh, start customizing this thing. It's for, yeah, it's for building stuff to ride bikes on. Oh, look how thin it was, dude. So what we've got here is a few things that were changing from the original McLeod. Okay, so I shortened it up because I feel like the tools used for a couple different things. When you're using this front edge, you're like cutting and doing the back sloping and you're not really moving a lot of material. So this piece right here doesn't need to be that deep. It just needs to be able to cut in and pull because you're scraping and carving with this side. Um, then the back side didn't need to be as long or heavy because all you're doing with this one is you're actually like moving material and if you are moving a thick enough material to fill up the whole McLeod, it's pretty heavy and you're not, it's gonna be tough to do that all day. So rather than like fighting with it, I want the tool to do a little bit less. So the weight in my hands a little less when I pull on it so I can do it all day. So I shorten these up so that I'm just pulling roots and minimalizing the maximum material that I can go. I went ahead and sharpened this other side, it's not sharp. So this will be the one that I keep sharp for like when I need something big, I won't use it as much. And on this side, I put little edges in it so that I can use this for grading a small area of dirt. If there's a small hump and I wanna just carve in just a little bit, that's where these small teeth come into play that I use with a grading rake. So the McLeod is a fire tool, um, 48 inch handle, and it's meant for doing a fire break in a trail. So it's not meant for trail building. So that's why a lot of people and companies have tried to customize this in a way to make it more for a trail tool because the trail tool is much more specific. You need to be carving and shaping, where with a fire tool, you're just making a big ditch and it doesn't have to be anything perfect. So this is, is my version of what I would see because I really like the McLeod. I like how the uh, material is super strong. It's not gonna chip or bend or anything like that. It's super durable. I'm not gonna change the material. I think other people have uh, used tools and changed the material and it, it loses its strength. So. I wanna keep that strength and just make it a little lighter in my hand to do shaping with. Slightly used McLeod, sharpened a couple times, really shouldn't have lost any material at this point. Yeah. Zeroed out, and we're gonna do pounds. Makes more sense. So this tool is four pounds, 15 ounces. It's an ounce difference from five pound tool. Four pounds, 15 ounces. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's weigh the other one. See how, was this the exact same McLeod? Exact same McLeod. Okay. I just destroyed this brand new one. Okay. <laughs> 
four pounds, six ounces. So let me do the math. Here. Nine ounce difference. Nine ounce difference. So let me do the, the math. All right, so it lost 11 and a half percent weight, which is quite significant. Yeah, I would say so, it's like a half pound. And if you're swinging something all day long. Well, you know what's really significant is it's gonna carry less dirt each swing too. So there's a lot yeah. more weight there than we're accounting for. Yeah, because when you're swinging around, you're gonna be pulling less dirt. It's just gonna make the tool a little bit easier to use because by default, you won't be able to pull as much material. So right. No matter how hard you want it, they'll just give you more strokes. So I guess if it was 10% less, could you say you could do 10% more strokes with the tool? I would say it's a fair bet. 10% might not seem like a lot in one project, but all day, 10% is a lot of productivity. Well, looks like we're wrapping things up. I hope you guys liked my version of a custom tool. Give it a try, do something different. If you end up making your own custom tool, tag me on Instagram, I'd love to check it out and give your tool a share. Pedal a little harder and don't touch the brakes. Also, don't forget to subscribe. There's like 80% of you guys that just got to the channel today. I'd love for you guys to subscribe and not miss out on the next adventure. The other 20% of you guys, nothing but love, and we'll catch you on the next episode. Oh. Ah. Moo. Quack, 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 quack. Hee haw. Meow. Roof, roof. Meow. That's not how you meow. Meow.